Hey guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's After Effects tutorial video, we are going to see that how some of the basic text animations or the commonly used text animations are so simple to create in Adobe After Effects. And these effects can only be created very easily using a built-in After Effects plugin that is known as the Animation Presets. Now we all have uh, seen some of the effects of the animation presets in our previous videos but through this video I am going to show you how some of the commonly or the widely used text animations can be created easily. So in this video we are going to cover 5 commonly used text animations and see that how can we create them very easily using animation presets. The first effect is this. This is our second effect. This is our third effect. This is our fourth effect. And this is our fifth effect. So all these effects as you can see are the basic text animations and they are used in a wide variety of places. So if you want you can also use them very easily in your composition anytime and anywhere just by using animation presets. So how can we use them is what this tutorial is all about. So first of all let's go to composition and create a new composition. I am naming it basic text animations. Now keeping a frame rate of 30 frames per second and a duration of 5 seconds and not concerning with the background color I press OK. The next thing I am going to do in my new composition is that create a solid layer. So go to the layer area and add a new solid layer which is our background layer and press OK. Go to effects and presets then and search for an effect called ramp. Now you will find an effect called gradient ramp under generate apply it onto your solid layer. Now what we are going to do is uh, just change the zoom percentage of the composition to around 25%. Make sure you are on the very first frame of your composition and then change the value of this stylus to around here. And the second um, point is to be changed around here. And keyframe the value of start of ramp and end of ramp as well and as the start of the ramp is concerned uh, for the last frame what we are going to do is uh, just change the value to around here. So now what we are going to do is uh, just change the color of our composition. So these are the two colors that I am happy with and if we just preview the background then it is transcending a little bit which is pretty good to look at and if you want you can just choose a lighter version of the red color like this or yes so this is my background and I'm pretty happy with it once you are happy with your background you can just uh, zoom back to fit for your composition and lock your background layer the next thing that I'm going to do is Go to my text tool and add in any text that you want. I'm typing in text effects. Now make sure to align it to the center both horizontally and vertically. And make 5 copies of this text layer. 
so basically we have to duplicate it at least uh, four times so now we have got five copies of our text layers now turn the visibility off of all the remaining text layers except the bottommost layer then go to effects and presets and search for an effect called drop bounce so take it and apply it uh, to your text layer but before that make sure you are on the very first frame of your uh, composition and now apply it so this drop bounce effect is it is like this now um, we are once you are happy with your draw bounce effect you can go to the very first frame of your composition again uh, just turn the visibility off for the bottommost layer and turn the visibility on for the layer just above it now go to effects and presets and search for an effect called labrador take it and apply it now if we just preview so this is the labrador text effect next uh, what we are going to do is turn its visibility off again go back to our third text layer turn its visibility on go to effects and presets and search for an effect called slice and dice take it and apply it to your text layer now this is the slice and dice effect So what we have done here mistakenly is that our stylus was at 3 seconds in time. So what we are going to do is select all these keyframes and move them to the very first um, frame of our composition. Now if you just see these keyframes, there are so many keyframes. But you need not add any keyframes manually. All you got to do is just drag and drop this effect into your text so that is the benefit of a plugin and this all effects are through built-in plugin of the after effects that is animation presets so this is the text effect that we have got over here now for our fourth text layer uh, make sure you are on the very first frame of your composition turn its visibility as on Go to effects and presets and search for another effect called sprouts. Apply it onto your text layer and preview it. So this was our sprouts effect. Next uh, turn its visibility off. Uh, now go back to the last layer and make sure you are on the very first frame of your composition turn its visibility back on now search for an effect called a uh, wind current take it and apply it onto your text effect and preview it so this is the wind current effect now all these effects have been applied using animation presets so if you go to effects and presets and here you will find the first folder as animation presets when you expand it you will find that uh, there is a folder called text so on expanding it you will find these ton of options or the animations that you can add and all these animations will help you to add cool looking text animations the animations that we saw today were a part of organic animations so if you expand it you can see so much effects in front of you so uh, some of these effects have been used by us in today's video like this drop bounce effect and this labrador effect then this slice and dice effect sprouts effect and wind current effect so these are the five effects of this organic in text animations that i like but you can um, 
try them all so i hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial if you do please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge for more such tutorials till then goodbye